So I've got a quick little video here. I just want to talk about shallow copying and chaining the shift operator. So I've done other videos talking about how you can chain methods together. Here I'm going to chain the shift operator and I'm going to, or the shift method rather, and I'm going to do shallow copying combined with that and show the effects of it. So I've got an array here called A and it contains three other arrays. That's what this syntax means. I've got three arrays inside of another array. So it's a two-dimensional array. I'm using the spread operator right here to take A and split it up into its different parts and copy it into here. So this is the same thing as calling array.splice or array.from and doing a shallow copy. Spread operator lets us do a shallow copy. So I'm taking all these things as one object in a, or this, sorry, this whole thing as A, putting it in here, and then I'm breaking it apart into the three separate arrays. The three separate arrays are going to be sitting inside of this new set of square brackets and assigned to B. So B really is a copy of A, but it's a shallow copy because these guys are not primitives. If the values of the elements inside the other thing, the other array that you're copying, are not primitive values, so if they're objects or arrays, things like that, then you don't copy them. You just get a copy of the reference to them. So now I've got a reference to this array, this array, this array inside of my new array B. When I write it out, you can see they look identical, so yes, okay, it is a copy. But if I make a change to one of the elements, it's going to affect both of them. If I make a change to the array, it affects it in both places. So here, I'm calling shift, but I'm calling shift, shift. So what is this going to affect? Now the shift operator moves something off of the array. Okay, let's console log this run it again, I get 1 as the value for doing shift shift. And what's happening here is I am, with the first shift, I'm taking this element from the B array, because I'm doing B.shift, and I'm removing this element from the array. My array is now going to have 2 and 3. These other two arrays are going to be left. But this first one is removed from B. Now that's not going to impact A. It just means in B, I'm removing this operator. And then the second shift says, OK, whatever you, it was that you have here. So this is the first array, the one with the number one inside of it. This is the array that we removed from B. Then I'm going to remove the first item from that, which will give me an empty array. So I'm sorry, it means I'm emptying the array. And what I get back is what I removed from the array, that number one. And that's why we have this. This one was removed from this first element, uh, sorry, removed as the first element from this first array after the array was removed from B. And because this array was just a copy of this one, it means that I have removed the number one from the first array inside the array A. So if I console log out this one again, there it is. A still has the array, but there's nothing inside of it. We've shifted the number one out of it. If I write out number 2B here, we can see B had that first array removed, and then the array that had been removed, we shifted from it, so the number one was taken out of it, this is the number one that was taken out of it, but the array had not been removed from the first one, so it's still there, but there's nothing inside of it. So just to break this down into steps, instead of doing the shift twice like this, instead of chaining them together, if we did this as two separate steps, this is what it would look like. Now this is going to be the exact same code, the exact same effect, So here's our two arrays, which are the exact same. And then 2a is after the first shift. So that means a still has the three arrays inside of it. b only has one left inside of it. Now, the second operation here, we're saying shift the first thing out of whatever d is. d is that first array. So E becomes the number one, the thing that we shifted out. D is now an empty array. 
and it's a copy of this one. This array and this array are just pointers to the exact same thing. So if you made a change here to D, that would show up in A as well. If I said D dot push one, two, three, now I console log D, and I console log A, there it is, there's D, it's that empty array that we added one, two, three into, and then A, its first array is now no longer empty, it now has one, two, three inside of it. We just pushed into D, but D was just a reference to that original array that's sitting up inside of here. Okay, so that's uh, using spread to do a shallow copy. It's multidimensional arrays. It's chaining together shift operators and understanding how the shallow copy impacts the contents of the array. All right, so lots to think about there. I'll leave a copy of this code as a code gist for you down in the comments. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, put, post them down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.